Hello to you beautiful people. My name is Noah Lakshmi and I'm here to elevate humanity for a better world. So thank you so much for joining me on that endeavor um, outside here and it's a little chilly but I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, if you are new to my channel then welcome. I'm so happy that you found my channel. Happy you are here. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. And thank you for your support. Thank you for coming back. Um, my wish and hope is that you are finding the information that you need for your life, uh, value for your life that you can receive and implement. If you would like to know more about me and the work that I do in the world, please check out my website, noahlakshmi.com. I will talk more about that at the end of the video. Um, and yes, this channel, I use astrology, I do more than just astrology, but this is my bi-weekly report update, and I use astrology merely as a tool to help us navigate through this experience that we call life. Astrology is just a language to be translated, it's a code that needs to be decoded, and it helps us, it just helps us to navigate through our own personal journeys and understand collectively what is going on in a, in a sense just having your hand on the pulse the pulse of creation so um, yeah this is what I use astrology for and if you are completely new to astrology or you don't even know anything about it it's okay you can still be here you can still tune in and um, and grab whatever it is that you need for your life through um, my transmission today so my Goodness, uh, there's so, 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 so much. There's so much to talk about, seriously. I know I say it quite often, but as I was writing everything and, you know, looking through the charts and what we have in the next couple of weeks is packed, packed, packed. So I will do my best to, to convey it in the most concise way. Um, today is Wednesday what's today yes today is wednesday march 14th of 2018 and this is a new moon um report there's more than just a new moon but i'll be focusing on the new moon that is coming on the 17th it's a saturday at um 6 12 a.m pacific time that's uh, west coast of north america um, before I get into the new moon, let's talk a little bit about what's going on right now. Like I said, today is Wednesday. Um, some of the energies that we've been feeling just this, this past week as we're building up towards the new moon. Every time we have a new moon or a full moon, there's a buildup that takes place. Depending on the energy, sometimes it's only a few days and sometimes it's, long, it's as long as one week prior to the new or the full moon. And with this new moon, which is very potent. Um, there's definitely a, there's, there's, there's a buildup that we've been feeling for the past few days, a week prior. And also the fact that I, I touched on that a little bit last, uh, my last report, but Jupiter went retrograde uh, almost a week ago on the 8th of March. And that is the first planet that went retrograde in a very long time. We had months, which is very rare, you guys, months of all planets being direct. And then we have the first planet that goes retrograde. It's the biggest one in the solar, in our solar system, the biggest one, Jupiter, boom. Stopping, slowing down, not stopping, planets never stop, but slowing down. And from the perspective of Earth, it seems like it's going backwards. But the biggest planet, and I'm sure, and I felt it in my life, and I'm sure those of you out there, and again, if you don't know anything about astrology, forget about that for a second. But did you or didn't you feel an energetically some sort of a shift internally? It's, it's very internal because Jupiter is in Scorpio. So the, 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 the internal shift that you probably felt, and the biggest one is perhaps the feeling of contraction after a very long period of growth and expansion feeling this like a rubber band that snapped right and the contraction after the expansion and that can feel quite um, shocking in a, in a sense not shocking but just disorientating um, after moving through so much growth and expansion to be in that contractive space um, so we've been feeling that and a little bit more inward 
oh, all of a sudden there's this, you know, Jupiter is about exploration and it can be a very external thing and going on this journey. But in, in Scorpio going retrograde, there's this, oh, I want to be more inward right now and actually dig deeper inside and go on this inner journey to find my actual truth. And this is very significant with everything that is happening simultaneously and building towards the, this new moon. Why is it so important to find that inner truth and really go inward and slow down? Um, well, it's finding all the hidden things, the blocks, the fears, um, maybe unconscious pain that you still have inside of you that is blocking you from moving forward, that is blocking you from fully expressing yourself and fully um, living into your potential and into your purpose, uh, really getting in touch with your soul. Jupiter was trining the sun yesterday and that's a very harmonious and positive and uplifting energy. However, in order for us to really utilize that positivity and to harness that stability into our lives, we've got to face all those little creepy crawlers inside and whatever shadows that are still lurking that are blocking you. So with it and all that, today Mars is squaring Chiron and we already felt that yesterday and then today, and both Mars and Chiron are very are key players in this new moon that is coming, okay? The new moon is going to conjunct Chiron. Mars is moving into a new sign a few hours after the new moon. So I'll talk about that in a moment. But Mars squaring Chiron, and how is that relating to this Jupiter in retrograde? And finding all those hidden fears and pain. Mars squaring Chiron, you might feel deflated. Mars is your ego. It's your identity. It's your desire. It's your drive. And that is in conflict with all of your wounds and all of your insecurities and all of your past hurts from this life, from past lives. Again, any unconscious pain that you still, you may still hold inside of you. And all of a sudden, you're finding yourself in the last few days really questioning your strength. Do I really have what it takes to fucking do it? Whatever it is, to even being on this journey. You start questioning your own self. You start questioning your own desires. You start questioning, am I courageous enough? And, and the big thing that we're feeling right now is really questioning your own identity, which is not a bad thing. You know, but Chiron can bring about crisis. What can feel like an identity crisis with with um, with Mars, wearing Mars. It's an identity crisis. Who the heck am I? Who the heck am I? And with all this Piscean energy still in the picture, because the Sun is finishing in Pisces, which those are the toughest degrees right at the end of Pisces and Mars is squaring Chiron right at the last degrees. So Mars is all charged up at the end of Sagittarius like, oh, I want to explore and I want to find the truth about myself and I want to go after my desires and then squaring Chiron in the last degrees of Pisces. It's like, oh, I don't know though. I, I feel so scared and insecure and all those wounds and you if you're not aware that's the key here if you're not aware because with Pisces it can be very unconscious stuff from past lives that you're just not aware of that are still playing in the background of your life and deflating you taking the the wing the wind out of your sails taking the courage taking the, the courage to really follow your desires and follow your passion and really go on this exploration of your life and finding truly who you are, truly Jupiter, which is connected to Mars right now with Mars and Sagittarius, there's a mutual reception between Mars and Jupiter, okay? 
So if you don't go underneath the surface, and you guys, with all the Scorpio Pisces problems that we are dealing with, it is hidden issues. And if you choose to ignore, to deny, to suppress, to pretend it's not there, which can be a Piscean thing, ah, let me just ignore it, it's gonna bite you in the ass, okay? So that's what I wanna encourage you to really just go for it head on right now. And this is the new moon. This is the new moon in Pisces, 26 degrees, conjuncting Chiron. It's almost an exact conjunction, okay? Two degrees apart. But right there at the end of Pisces, it is the end, it is death, okay? It's letting go, it's the last sign of the zodiac right before, boom, there's a new spark, there's a new birth. And again, like I said, it can be very tough degrees, especially with Chiron there in the picture, finishing his cycle in Pisces since 20, uh, 2008. So that can be like the, the depth of the depth of the ocean of Pisces. The depth of all this pain and hidden issues that who knows, maybe you've been hiding it or hiding from it or suppressing it or denying it and ignoring it and checking out of it for who knows how long. And this new moon is the opportunity and the invitation for that letting go. Letting go of identities that don't serve you anymore. Let go of old stories that don't serve you anymore. Now, it doesn't mean to not be sensitive to those pain. That's actually this new moon is the time to really be tender with yourself and tender with your hurts, tender with whatever pain that you're feeling that is coming up to the surface or maybe some old pain that is really coming up to be released for good. So to be tender with that, but to meet it head on. To not be attached, you know, with Pisces, there is the detachment. It's the spiritual realm. There's nothing to be attached to. No, peop not, not be attached to people, not be attached to any of your identities, not to be attached to anything in this life, and definitely not to be attached to any of your past hurts and stories. What is a story that is still holding you from moving forward? How much is it serving you? So don't judge yourself for having that story. Be tender with yourself in this process of letting go, especially when it comes to letting go of your identities and things that you've identified yourself with for so long. Be tender, be gentle with yourself, but do it, but do it. And this is the new moon. This is the, uh, the, the beginning of a new cycle which is happening very close to the equinox, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, but it's really closing loose ends, closing any loose ends in your life. And that's another layer of this new moon that is very significant and very important and has to be addressed. And the loose ends are within yourself, whatever it is in your life, like the clearing and the cleansing, anything that is still hanging, any loose threads. And then especially, and I've been talking about this so much extensively, your relationship. Venus was squaring Saturn yesterday. And Venus is everything to do with our relationship, relationships with other people. And with Venus also conjuncting Mercury right now, it's understanding our relationships no more. And in Aries, it's really our desires in our relationship and how much do I de identify myself with certain people and certain relationships in my life. And what is it? With this new moon and Venus scoring Saturn just, the day, just yesterday, what are the loose ends when it comes to relationships that you have in your life and some old pain that needs to be resolved? Are you still holding any type of resentment any type of harsh harshness towards somebody else. What needs to happen? What are the conversations? What are the emotions that need to be expressed? The feelings that need to be expressed? What is it that you haven't said to another person maybe your entire life and now is the time to say, hey, whichever end that you're finding yourself, maybe it's that the one, one end of the stick is, hey, 
I really want to let you know that th whatever you did 20 years ago really hurt me and I need to express it. Maybe it wasn't 20 years ago, maybe it was 20 days ago. And whatever you said really hurt me. So that's one end of the stick. And the other end of the stick is, hey, I'm really, I apologize. With all this Pisces, it's forgiveness. I find the place in you to forgive and find the place in you to apologize. If you need to do the apology, hey, I really apologize. I'm taking responsibility and accountability for what I said, for what I did. That, hey, yes, I did act like an asshole if that, that was the case. And I apologize for that. And it's the time to find a resolution through those exchanges. People are very sensitive right now, okay? So please handle with extra care. Because if there are some maybe charged conversations to have right now, maybe some tough conversations, maybe emotionally charged conversations, handle with care. And that goes to yourself and other people. Handle yourself with care and handle other people with care. But handle it. That's the point. This is the time now. You've got to handle it. Not avoiding it anymore. Not suppressing it anymore. Not denying it anymore. Whichever end that you're finding yourself in. The one that needs to express or the one that needs to apologize or both. Um, so this is extremely significant with this new moon. Closing the loose ends. Cleaning and clearing anything that needs to be cleared in your life. Especially within your relationships. Now, why is it so important? It's like, hey, fuck it. I don't want to clear anything. I don't want to cleanse anything. Let me just keep going with denial and suppression of myself, <laughs> how I really feel, what I need to express, and the suppression of my own feelings and my own insecurities. Why is it so important? If you want to move forward truly in your life, in all areas, if you want new energy, you've got to let go of the old. You've got to clean up the old energy so if there's still attachment to old relationships and old people and old hurts if you're still attached to this like oh this person did this to me gazillion years ago it's keeping it's keeping you stuck it's a very stagnant energy okay and if it's unconscious it can really affect all areas of your life and make you feel deflated like I was referring to at the beginning so, a few hours after the new moon, and you, do you think it's a coincidence? Of course not. A few hours after the new moon, Mars moves into Capricorn. Charge time! That's Mars in Capricorn. Mars is exalted in Capricorn. It's getting extra strength because Saturn, which is the ruler of Capricorn, is in Capricorn, in its home sign. So we're having both Mars and Saturn in very strong position ready to charge ready to move forward ready to move into the direction that is the most fulfilling for you that is not attached to what other people are wanting from you what other people are expecting of you any attachments that you have to the status quo or your old identities this is the charge towards your own true desires, your own true fulfillment. But if you're still holding on to the old pain, to the old stories, to the old people, to the old relationships, huh, not so easy to charge. Think about trying, I, I always give that example, and Mars and Capricorn definitely, tr think about trying to climb up a mountain with a 120 pound bag on your shoulders who the heck wants to do that all right so charge time so you it's time to clean up all of your insecurities from your past stories and really go for it go for it this new moon is a spark it's not easy now in the in the build up towards the new moon and this new moon uh, conjuncting chiron you might feel deflated. You might feel like you just want to hide under the covers and feel extra sensitive. Again, handle yourself with care. Handle this process of letting go with gentleness and compassion for yourself and other people. But go about it. Do it. So you can charge in the most 
fulfilling way, really feeling strong within you with this new identity. Mars moving into Capricorn. Few hours after this new moon, you can't make it up. It's Mars is moving into a new sign. It's a new identity. It's a new identity after exploring for 40 days in Sagittarius, finding what's true for you, finding what ignites your fire, finding the, the wisdom within you and listening to your intuition and then Mars, your identity. Boom, going into this new, into this new identity, into this new world. A new world, really building your life according to this new world and this new reality and this new identity. And all of that, the new moon, again, you can make it up. The new moon, with all of that happening, is literally happening three days before the spring equinox on the 20th of March. The sun is moving into Aries at 9.15 a.m. Pacific time. I'm so excited. <laughs> and that is the real new year. So actually, you guys, what we are feeling right now, this is exactly a week before the equinox. We are feeling the last, the last period right before the new year. Forget about December. Really, according to the natural cycles of life, the equinox is the new year. So it's, now it's the time to make the new year resolutions, not in December. That's just the, the collective. But if you want to make true resolu New Year resolutions and that in accordance to nature, which is the true supporter of us, not the calendar, this is the time. Now it's the time to make your lists and what do you really want to dedicate yourself to because, hey, Mars moving into Capricorn with Saturn there, now it's the time to realize this is what I want to dedicate myself to. What am I dedicating myself to and stick to it and be committed and be devoted and be dedicated to all those goals? After you've let go of all the unnecessary garbage and unnecessary stuff in your life. That's the real new year. And it's quite incredible, again, not a coincidence, that during the equinox when the sun moves into Aries, um, Mercury and Venus are in exact conjunction, 16 degrees of Aries. That doesn't happen very often when those two travel together for so long. But Mercury is getting ready to go retrograde, which is another thing. Mercury is going to go retrograde a couple of days after the equinox on the 22nd of March. So it's, 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 it's in a stopping position even now. It's, it's starting to slow down. What is that? It's our mind slowing down and getting an understanding of ourselves in Aries. I'm understanding myself, my desires, my passions, my, my course of direction. I'm understanding it more and more. I'm understanding what I really desire in my relationships and what is it that I want to attract into my life and what is it that I have been attracting into my life that I don't want. And that's all the unconscious Piscean exploration of where is it in my life that I've been operating from an unconscious place and attracting all that into my life. Hey, I don't want that anymore. So this is a new identity. This is a reprogramming. This is a clearing of the unconscious for this new program to come up, for this new identity to take up the front seat of your life and starting to attract and manifest in your life according to all those new programs and this new identity. And in your relationships, you know, if you've been attracting toxic relationships and people in your life, you're like, holy crap, why am I still on this cycle? Well, are you, are you willing to go deep inside and realize where, you, where, where you've been operating from and change that for good and start attracting the people into your life and the things into your life and be the person that you really want to be and express yourself in that way. Okay, so a deeper understanding of yourself, deeper understanding of your wants and your needs and your desires. And then Mercury is going to go retrograde and it's going to give, you, give us a time to really reflect on this new identity and this new life and this new course of action and this new direction. And if you're still feeling a little bit confused and foggy, that's okay. Because Pisces is about to come to an end. Be gentle with yourself relax into the unknown because there's a lot of unknown right now and Mars scoring Chiron during this new moon you might feel this internal battle 
I want to know. The ego wants to hold on and to know. Guess what? The more you can relax into the unknown, the more life is going to surprise you in the most miraculous way. So this is a battle of the ego versus, hey, spirit doesn't necessarily operate in a, operates in a linear way. There's a divine plan though, rest assured, there's a divine plan. It might not be your plan. So what is it in your plan that you're letting go of? Because you realizing there's something better. It might not be in front of you, but there's something better. That's a divine plan. Just relax into it. So let go of the fears of the unknown. Release any insecurities that you might have towards uh, when it comes to going towards the mysterious and the unknown in your life, but you truly know this is my direction and I'm going to let go of whatever I need to let go so I can step into that so I can live that so be gentle with your confusion be gentle with your fears but make a very clear de declaration that you you are letting it go and that you have the courage and you have the strength and the faith Mars finishing in Sagittarius mm, so much faith to live in the unknown and know that the divine spirit has the most spectacular plan for you it might differ from your plan though so that's the new moon allowing yourself to really be aligned with that divine plan the divine plan for your life you've got to trust it you've got to trust it oh my god that was just so much and I, I got it I got it in the time that I wanted to get it thank you so much for tuning in um, if you are liking this video please share it uh, with other people that you may feel can benefit from this message I really appreciate that if you would like to know more about me and the work that I do in the world if you want to take your personal spiritual and human journey um, onto um, a, a deeper level and into the next level, then contact me. I would love to hear from you uh, to work together one-on-one -on -one or the group programs that I have coming up. Uh, Noahlakshmi.com, check it out. Um, and yeah, share this video, thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel to receive this video, this videos and other videos that I do. Um, what else? Sending you so much love and so much light. Keep your faith strong in yourself and in life and in the divine plan for you. Um, yeah, happy new moon, everybody. You are awesome. You are beautiful. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for tuning in. Satnam. Happy new moon.